happened and uh, in the end it turned out to be the right decision because that's when we re- I felt we really just kicked on after that after that game yeah we lost we lost two games after that gaffer in yeah. two four six eight ten twelve fifteen. that um that Farnborough game was it a Monday night or a Tuesday it night? was yeah. Monday yeah. night after yeah. losing three didn't, yeah, didn't have didn't have time to feel sorry for ourselves I remember yeah. White Hog as it's, it's just a crap place to go anyway but mm. It was just yeah, one of them games where I felt like I was just stuck in the mud. You know, when things just ain't going your way and you're kind of looking around you for other people to do something. But yeah, it was just one of them ones where we had to get it out of the way. And the best thing was to react in that way and to bounce back uh, on the Monday night and do a job for it as well. And it was just, I think Monty scored there as well. He did uh, score. Yeah, yeah. Well, again. Volley. Yeah. yeah, and uh, and that was the that was the kind of thing you needed because you you know a few lads they'll get over things quickly, but you, you needed some lads that you thought, uh, how is he going to react to this? But for the, as as a team, as a group of squad, that was I think a big big reaction there. But also on that Sunday morning when we were pulling it all apart and trying to put it all back together again is the day I made the phone call to Ben Hurd. Yeah, that Sunday, <laughs> and. Uh, he was having some problems with Dunstable, I think it was at the time. Though he'd yeah. obviously been at Hemel the year before, we'd watched him play, Luke, I think, going over there. Yeah. seen him play. Yeah. And uh, it was just resolving the difference. I think we put seven days in for him. And I think we got him by the time, sort of 10 days later, we'd actually had him over the line of playing for us. Gaffer, how, how, just go through that thought process of how you kind of, we've obviously lost and we're all thinking oh my god it's all falling apart and then you come to go in right let's strip it back go back to bases go to back to what we know how do you talk us through how you you come to them I that, that decision? Look, i think it's looking how your season's mapped out really mario and it's about talking to people and trying to get some ideas like getting get your ideas from yourself getting your ideas from luke getting your ideas from the chairman in terms of you know where have we gone wrong what have we done wrong so you have to look at the personnel you brought in, and that's not being disrespectful to any of them whatsoever because they're all very good players that we brought in, and we thought we'd bring them in for the right reason to go and win the league. But did we just upset the balance a little bit? You know, did did the hard working Monty and Matty Witchlow and and uh, Shakespeare right. take away from what that Macca give us? Macca would give us as much quality as in the league because he was probably the best player in the league. But did we, did we lose that other side to what he was giving us? You know, Ben had come in um, and done a great job, as Callum said there. But again, you know, just that little bit of pace that maybe we're getting a bit exposed by other teams. So by taking his experience out and, 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 his, and his heading ability, we're putting Josh back in. Um, again, just little things and, you know, moving Ben Nunn from right back to left back until we could get a left back in. Taking yeah. Coxie out of midfield was a big decision, but Sorrell mm. had come in with a big reputation and uh, he didn't do poorly. I mean, we took him on loan from Brentford, but as soon as we had Ben Hurd signed, we obviously put him Nunny back to right back and, uh, and, yeah. and, and, and Coxie back in the midfield. So I think it was just going back to where have we gone wrong in the last sort of three or four weeks where things started to change and the balance of the team had got a little bit unbalanced and, and maybe we you know maybe just trying to be positive we were undoing a lot of the good work that we'd, we'd already put in place when did when did Nani come back was it in January uh, yeah. Feb end of Feb I thought it was, was it end, yeah, of end of Feb yeah I remember his first game like you said he got it was he got sent off I think it was was it haven't yeah I think so yeah haven't he got sent off and we they we conceded a last minute a last minute winner to them. I think they missed a penalty and we thought we got away with it. And then they 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 scored a last minute winner with him getting sent off. They're the, they're the third team. So Bath, Basingstoke and Haven done the double. All done the double. And you think that's well we'll progress on to that, but But I think losing that game, I think we knew with Bromley kind of kicking on, it was kind of the title was Titles kind of running away from us. We no, totally opposite. Because if you, if you when we went to Bromley, yeah, we win that. I think we'd have gone top. We would have gone top. Yeah. So for me, even, we, if, even if we, I didn't realize how close it was until I looked at the table again. Even if we'd have drawn that day, yeah, against we'd have, have, we'd have had an extra point and they'd have had two less. And then, well, we'll get onto the games as they go along. But I do remember one, one funny thing. I can't remember what game it was, but Luke played left back and Maka played left mid. 
Western away. Western away. It was definitely down the hill because Luke overlapped Mac at one point. I was just cracking up. The pace. The slowest left side in the league. We wow. played two left backs that day, Cal. It was brilliant. And it was <laughs> we went, so we thought, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to stop the ball coming in. So we stood there and we thought, ah, oh, they bent it round us. So I went, Mac, and stand a little bit wider. And they stood wider and he bent it through us. And we just kept going, Cal, it's coming in. Coming in, Cal. Yeah. Then, how could, uh... What about his ball? His ball to Leanne Goal. Oh, yeah, I believe it. Monty could do that. I have to say, yeah. Matty Wixlow could probably pull that out of his backside. Love. But Macca's ball and the run, glance header, fast that's, yeah. that's the only goal he ever scored with his head, Lee Angle. He must be. Yeah, that was, that... yeah actually. Yeah, I remember he didn't score any of his head, did he? Yeah. No, he Big win that was away from home, 4-1. Because they used to play, didn't they? They used to try yeah. and play. Yeah. I, was, yeah, I, was good good thinking, I actually remember, I could just picture it, being in the changing rooms. Before and at half time and after. Remember ever t- always turning off their radio? Yeah. <laughs> it's the plug <laughs> outside. And I was just, I don't know, I just, even then, like I said, we've, there were some games where you kind of patch players together and teams together. And um, yeah, I don't know, I kind of just laughed after the game. So I thought we've like, we've, we've done it here. <laughs> I just, I just just remember Luke and Maka just cracking me up. Even in the game, they're making jokes to each other and looking and stuff. And I just thought, oh, this is a funny one to remember. <laughs> I remember it so clearly. We then play Haven at home, Gaffer. And that's when Nunny comes back, doesn't he? Play, gets sent off. Yeah. One. Play then Hemel and win 1 0. Maidenhead away and win 1 0. Which is always tough. Going to Maidenhead, I don't care. Even now in a national league, Cal, yeah. it's horrible. Nice. It's horrible. But that was that was the that's era when of the Junior safety. scored, didn't it? Junior yeah. went yeah. Junior scored up the yeah. hill, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, up the yeah. hill, and it's that one over the goalie, wasn't it? It was about yeah. ten minutes to go, wasn't it, or something? Yeah, big like win, one. big big win. That's when Mario grabbed them. Um, who wanted to beat me up after the game? Danny Green. Oh, no, Danny a, Green. That made it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got him in a bear hug, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, you you were winding him up, Gaffer, throughout the game, which is your job. I know that, but um, yeah, he, he didn't take a liking to you. Let's put it that way. Yeah. I've got your back though, don't worry. <laughs> then we go White Hawk at home, draw two all. Away to Willstone, another one. Big, big, tough. Tough, tough test. Shakey scored, didn't it? Three, three and three. Yeah, yeah. 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 Three and three. Day, it was uh, probably weren't the best game. Well, it definitely wouldn't have been the best game. And I knew it was going to, uh, one goal was going to win it. You know them games where you just know one goal, so whoever gets it is going to win the game. Back, back post header. Yeah, slide yeah. in. Uh, I left. I left it for him. I think because <laughs> after he put it in, I thought, "Thank God he saved me." Because how I did. But yeah, I just remember down the bottom end as well, just celebrating in the six yard box. You know them ones you just grabbing each other. It's not yeah. one of them like, like euphoric running around the pitch because you can't catch Lee or Junior when they're running. <laughs> so I thought, let me just grab them before they go. Um, but yeah, I remember that being just just. Important victory at important times, like I said, them them close games where there might only be one goal in it. And again, I think just as the season went on and like you get a feel for those kind of games and the boys and how you're doing. And it's just experience, especially when you look back, it's building experience um, and take capitalising on what you've got whether it's a solid defensive team or a team that's going to score goals. Obviously, we had, a, we had a bit of both. And to know that we could win those tight games just by the odd goal is massive. Obviously, it's good for the points, but I don't know, just add something extra special to the chemistry in the group as well. And I think the belief. Well, yeah, late winners, Cal. You know how important they are. And look, we look at the, if you look at the league table and look at the, res, the, the draw column, like drawing six games, I think that's that's unbelievable. Mm. Uh, it's because you know draws could be could kill your season if you draw too many games. It's 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 not and it doesn't add value to you. So yeah, I think you alluded them, to we turn them into wins. Yeah, big draws into wins, which mm. I think is massive. Which I think is massive. And if you look at it, the goals against ratio was less than one a game, wasn't it? And when, we were top goal scorers at the end of the season, yeah. we? 79 yeah. goals, whatever it was. Yeah. Yeah. We had, well, 
in terms of goal difference, yeah, we pipped Bromley to it. We had 35 looking at the table yeah. and they had 33. But if you say if you'd concede less than one goal a game, you, you're going to win more games than you're going to you're going to lose. But that that was massive in terms of what we did. And, and as I say, with Cow and, and, and Rusty that season was just outstanding in terms of his yeah his shot stopping, uh, his organisation. Yeah. You used to tell him, Gaspar. I remember you used to say to him, "Don't come and catch crosses. No. Just stand inside your goal and save it." And he used to go, "All right, no worries." Yeah. <laughs> He was the best shot stopper in the league. But so, his yeah, reflexes. Yeah. Sometimes I remember us looking at each other on the bench, thinking, "How has he saved that? Yeah. Yeah, how yeah. has he saved that? What is he? Do? How has he got there?" Yeah. And he'd give it the little pulley shorts up or a little arm yeah. raise. Yeah, yeah. 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 They'd they lift his arms up, <laughs> side, arms on the sides. <laughs> yeah, I remember good. as well. I had, obviously I had, a, I had a great relationship with him off the pitch as well as on, which I think helped. Um, and I. I think I had his back because I knew, like you said, Jeez. he's not going to come and like catch loads of crosses and that. Um, but even <laughs> it's funny because he used to always used to say to me, he goes, "Cow." He goes, "They're through balls." He goes, "I, I really can't judge him." <laughs> so every time it had come through, I said, "All right, don't worry," because I'd be in a position where I could even say, "Look, oh, Rusty, come and clear it," or I'll say, "Stay." And he was like, oh. he always used to thank me if it one happened in the game. But it's just them things, you know, like. I don't Building know, relationships again. Yeah, maybe if I, I didn't, care. I didn't spend. We'd be in the car probably. It was all that singing in the car, weren't it? Cass? That's what I mean. Like six hours a week in the car, or more probably sometimes. Uh, just getting to know each other and talking, and you know, like sometimes, and then he might have felt embarrassed to kind of say to someone else that he weren't as comfortable with. Oh, I'm not great on the through balls and that. But yeah, they're just little relationships and that, which like, obviously helps. I wish you'd have told me that six years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I used to say to him, I'm like, what, what do you, what can you not? He goes, ah, oh, just when they come straight, I can't judge how far it is. <laughs> so I'd be like, all right, I'll tell you when you've got to come. <laughs> so, Gaffer, we go to Bromley and we hand it over to him. Do you remember it? I remember it so clearly. Did, did we so, hand it to them, though, Luke? Because we were outstanding on the day. Okay, we yeah, okay. Nil up. We were absolutely, totally in control. Yeah. yeah. Anthony Cook who I still tell the referees about now, yeah. trips himself up in the area. And the referee or the referee that Mario said was carrying too much weight, which I actually <laughs> went and questioned after the game, gave the worst penalty decision you've ever seen in your life, which gave them a lifeline because we was battering them. We hit the yeah. post, we hit the bar. There was only one winner. And then you go back and then they scored the equaliser. It gave them a little bit of a lift. And then uh, Bradley Goldberg gets half a chance and he was a great finisher. He finished it. Yeah. Even then, with 15 minutes to go, look, we battered them. And uh, they looked as nervous as hell. Um, and if we'd have won that, I think we'd have gone and won the league. But for me, the changing point was, I think, about 70, 72nd minute. And Cookie he does it well. He goes in the box. None of the panel. Yeah. None of the behind him, standing him away from goal, and he just does them once. Yeah. He he was he Do you know what? The, uh, there's a picture of Rusty... You've probably seen it when Cookie scored and Rusty's like fuming. Because even at the time, I thought he should have saved the penalty. Yeah, he did until, say that. It weren't until the other day, yeah, that he were um, literally, I think it was like last week, he told me because the picture must have come up because it's probably, I don't know, similar time a few years oh, ago. Yeah, yeah. And um, he said he was hanging off the crossbar and the ref blew his whistle. So you weren't even ready to, for the penalty. Yeah, and so even them little things, you just think, oh, yeah. man. Like, he would have saved it. Yeah, he got a good he hand. To, and you he could tell he was it. frustrated because he probably thought he should have done better. And at the time, I didn't say anything, but I thought, like, you could have saved that. But, yeah, that was a big... But we did we did really play ever so well. There was a lot of pressure on us. So we had to go and win it. And we, we took the game to them. We were excellent that day. We were really yeah. Yeah. Even when we went 2-1 down, we could have literally got something out of the game. Yeah. We leave there, Cal. What was the mindset of the change room then? Um, I, obviously, it was, it was disappointing. But I remember there's still going to be twists and turns in that. And I'm sure, I don't know, out of all of you, you probably used to say it like, without the wanting not boys to not be too down about it. And it's so true. There was still a few games to play and there was going to be... The Bromley weren't going to win all the rest of their games. I had the belief that we could go and win the rest of our games. Um, 
and it was obviously it was it was a, it was a big result. It was a big time in the season, a crucial point where a win would have would have I think yeah we'd have kicked on from there and probably won it. Um, but even still, I think let me just look at the fixtures because I've got in my head. But Luke, correct me if I'm wrong. Didn't we? Did, I remember us trying to plan something, and I think you might have been a part of this gaffer in terms of just sort of our thinking about taking the pressure off them. Like after that result, it's easy to go right. We've got to kind of stay on it and win the next game. I, I, I remember doing something fun in training, or we we planned something. I can't remember exactly what it was, but we kind of eased it off, and then we beat Sutton two 0 in the next game. Is that right? That was a big one, yeah. That yeah. was a big one. And I just remember, like, we kind of just went, like, it's just been so intense for so long, mm, where we've been yeah. game after game and training and stuff like that. I, I can't remember exactly what we've done, but I remember us two looking and planning it and thinking, right, we need to just have some fun tonight. And we kind of come to you, Gaffer, and you were like, yeah, spot on, let's just do it. And I remember, I think it was a bit of a old Dave and the tunnel ball when I first joined Boreham Wood Gaffer. <laughs> <laughs> we did a bit of that, and uh, yeah, it was a bit of that. It was a bit of just fun I and just got, letting them we play. Got the nets out and done a bit of keep work, uh, head tennis, and things like that, wasn't it? Just, um, yeah, I mean, it got intense. It was tough. It's not, it's not the easiest thing to do, is it, to try and get promotion? But again, you've got to take the pressure off the players. That's the most important thing. Of course, and I think to be fair, then whatever was done showed a marked improvement because we then went five unbeaten. I know we only played three league games or six unbeaten. But we yeah. played Sutton and one two nil. So again, big team in Conference South, big big team. Yeah, massive. Then to go went to Fleet and draw they, one. They, off. they were a big side as well, weren't they? They're all we all you can say with Ed Fleet, they'd underachieved with the amount of money yeah. they were paying out. But they got they had big players, didn't they? Yeah. But Gaffer, yeah. that day you, we changed it. We went. I remember it weren't going our way, and we, Lee had a knock, and you took Lee off, and we went three five two. And Nani scored the penalty to draw. Late, late, late on, wasn't it? Really late, late on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And well, Nani. And Nani. Roof, roof of the net. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, like uh, no one was saving it. Well, and was that, we were looking around. We were thinking who Darryl was going to take it. Daryl McMahon was gaffer. Yeah. 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 He got back there, hadn't he? Yeah. So he came to us, done yeah, a little then, bit with us, and then obviously yeah. then got, got the, the opportunity to go back there as yeah. the manager. So I remember, well, the game before Sutton, I think I scored in the 2 0 win. Header. Yeah, and I thought, yeah, that was it. They had, again, to beat them away from home and then at home. And then I, just remember, I remember Ebsley, it was just, hot. it was a hot day. It was a dry pitch. And it was just, and I remember, did you bring Charlie on for Lee, Charlie Walker? Yeah, yes. and he just yeah. ran and ran I mean, and ran. I remember late on, and he had a chance, and you think, this is yeah. the one. And he's Sent just the goal half, about 12 yards league, out. Yeah, yeah. he's half yeah. and he smashed it. And Over. Just, it's gone, yeah, and I just... Lee Angle had a bit of a. Still hold it against him to this day. I don't like it. <laughs> Lee, Lee Angle had a bit of a hand. I couldn't let it go, but yeah, that was uh, that was frustrating. Do you, do you know that Lee Angle had a bit of an hamstring? Didn't he? he tried to rest him. Yeah. Because yeah. he felt his hamstring. I think as we played him in the semi-final, or brought him on in, in the final against uh, Hemel in the Art Senior Cup. And we probably shouldn't have risked him, but he was just yeah. feeling his hamstring a little bit tight and. I think we played him and took him off in that game, didn't we? But the mindset now was obviously for me at that stage. I thought I think we kind of knew. Yeah. We were, we were second and it was playoffs. Because I, I don't know with that Ebbsfleet game, did Bromley draw that day as well? Bromley lost to Hayes and Yedding, didn't they? Lost, they? yeah. So again, that was a bit of a kick in the teeth. But then I think yeah, yeah then it was just getting your head around uh, the playoffs. Then with with the last game, the Chelmsford game, did we we had to win it to secure second though, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which was it massive for us. And we were cute, Four, three. cruising though, weren't we? We were playing. I remember, so well. yeah, I remember scoring that day. Monty put in a free kick, and then that centre half who came on loan to us, that Harry, Harry Hickford, Hickford, he he diving in. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he had like the game of his life. I remember just raging. <laughs> he was crap for us. So why is he going to do it? Last game of the season when there's nothing for them to play for. <laughs> um, but obviously, it was good to finish on a win. Um, but yeah, then going into the playoffs. Before we touch on that, Cal, the rituals in the dressing room, did it play a part? The yeah, song definitely. Mario used to put on. Yeah, <laughs> I, and I said, I, said, I, text, I text Luke and Maz this morning. So I went out for a run and that, and then it came on my playlist, that song. <laughs> and um, yeah, it was, it was just, 
I've been I've tried to recreate it ever since and it just doesn't work. Like no, people don't people don't get it. I'm like, oh just wait, just wait. And they're like, no, yeah. we're waiting like two the, minutes. The out. Media fools would be booing with us because we'd wait for the drop. Yeah, yeah, they'd be knocking on the door and be like, going, right, let's get Come on, come on, and we're going, wait gaffer, wait gaffer, then then it goes. And yeah, everyone's just, just going out. We're it. jumping around like we just won the game. So I know. Just like, what the are these, like yeah, what are they doing? But yeah, it was uh, just, I don't even know how it came about, but it was um it was class. It was class and it was just and it was something unique and special for us because even the following season when we sort of tried to do it and there's new players coming and they didn't really get it. Think, but, yeah. No, it didn't work. I've, I've tried doing it for the last two years. No one wants to buy into it. For some reason, they know like, oh, it's just, I love it, me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no one can buy into it. it. I just, every time you hear it, you just smile, don't you? Yeah, it's true. Like it's spot on. And it's spot on. The images in your head of, well, it's just before kickoff. Do you know what I mean? And you know, like, you're going, you're going to war with the boys. And it's like, uh, it's almost like them triggers, you know, you have little things that come in that. And when that, uh, always, officials will be raging. And we're like, no, no, yeah. wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. They'll be fuming. Yeah. I remember, remember going having gaffer, first leg. Yes. Okay, before we start that, standout performance for you, before the playoffs, standout performance for you lot. Um, for season. me, I would probably say what I felt, and I say, I say it now, was, Sutton away when we won three one early part of the season. I felt there was a they were a good side. Sutton, they're yeah. good players, and, and we were brilliant that day. We defended for our lives, and then that could have been four or five that day. Very very good performance. My would go probably New Year's Day against Stortford. Um, just the way we just like tore them apart on wet conditions. We were going through a bit of a funny period. Christmas is really important. I thought that day we literally set the tone for, right, this is what we're doing. I know it didn't kind of materialise after that, but from there, I thought, yeah, we, on our day, we, we can do anything to anyone. Yeah, I think that was a massive one, especially, again, at the time. And New Year's Day, Gaffer, and even you boys probably, probably used to think, like, what's going to yeah. turn up today? Like, you don't know what. And, and uh, throughout my career, I've been been professional life around that kind of period because and it's just one day of the year like you're not gonna you're not gonna miss out it's not big in the big scheme of things and even i'd be the same thinking because you know what like you know what the boys get up to and that you, they talk about it before and you know who's been out and you just think like oh, what's going to turn up today and i think that is a massive marker to go out five nil new year's day uh, especially when you look at the, the when people look at the paper and the other results and you think, right, like the boys could have had it up over Christmas and New Year's, but to come in and do that. And then the reaction after the White Hawk to go 3 0 away, straight away, like straight back in, not like not let it get us down too much. I think they were big ones. I was, was going to say that, Cal. I, I was also using when when you say what a farmer away that Monday was a massive game in terms of the decisions that were made that weekend mm. and to get the response we got because our season could have folded that day. Easily, we yeah. In by Farnborough, we could have gone the opposite way just by getting that result after getting the tanking at White Hawk sort of brought everyone back on. So, you know, that would be a major part of where we was. Yeah, even looking at the looking at that stat pack of the actual league table at the end of the season, it was uh it was quite. It was quite close. Like we, like you said, we needed to win on the last day to secure second mm. um, and avoid. Well, avoid Basingstoke. It, I know haven't done a double over us, but avoid Basingstoke because I don't know why. I don't know whether it was because I used. I didn't mind having. It used to be a home ground for me for the reserves at Portsmouth, and it was a comfortable place. Whereas Basingstoke, even though I played there, I, used, I didn't like it. It wasn't a nice place, and like, like it, it wasn't. Even the pitch, you know, having the pitch is okay. Um, we went into the playoffs not beating one of them three other teams. Yeah, that was strange, isn't it? To think we finished on top of all of them and we lost, well, 12 points. To finish, so we haven't. Who was the yeah. other team? I was Whitehawk, wasn't it? Whitehawk. Basically, yeah. talking Whitehawk. But I thought the, the getting, gaining second place with the home advantage for the second leg was big. I think psychologically that's that's a big way and especially us getting the results and the, and the, final, and the final at home yeah and then being the final at home because yeah. uh, our loyal supporters but having it at home we could we could dictate because um, we didn't want to go back to Whitehawk 
Yeah. Oh. That's all I was thinking as well. Just avoid, out of all the teams, avoid them away in the playoffs or over two legs because it's just horrible. It's just horrible. And the more, like, the more we played there, I can't remember. I think it was the year before we played there, you know, when it should was, have been called off. Pouring down the brain. Every other team in the league was off. I remember between me what and about the minibuses. Man, yeah, yeah. drove the minibus. <laughs> the Driving minibus. down on the minibus, and it's like it's a monsoon. It was yeah. like, it was like that it. film where the world's gonna end. Like, Gaff <laughs> was on the bus, Mazza, I think Gaff was on the bus with you, yeah. and I'm on the bus with someone else. Gaff rang me going, What's your bus like? And I went, <laughs> Gaffer, we need it off. Why? I went, they're not ready for a game. Mate, Nani was ringing up. Uh, and he was ringing up White Hawk every 20 minutes, pretending to be a Bournemouth Wood fan, going, Oh, I'm going to leave soon from Hertfordshire. What's uh, any chance of the game being on? And every every time was like, Yeah, the pitch is all right, we're going to play. But and I remember, we, I remember, never winning, on. I remember and winning. Jeffrey got two, didn't he? Yeah. And I just yeah. thank God that we I remember. I remember him making a good, a real bad ball. I think that's when we really saw how quick he was. It was yeah. falling into the corner, and we were like, Oh, that's gone out. And then literally, he just got onto yeah. it and kept it in, and then bent one in the bottom corner. Mm-hmm. But yeah, there was. I'm uh, going to say my worst performance, not even in the league, Stevenage Hart Senior Cup. Yeah, oh, that was yeah, that was, that was good. It wasn't. I remember, like, uh, they I remember wanted to do us. Yeah, yeah definitely. He put, he put an unbelievable side out that night as well. They put a proper team out, Gaffer. Yeah. A proper yeah. team. And I just we went there, we had them up. In a proper game, there'd have been about probably three red cards for them. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure there was one time, I know Lee got smashed down by the bench, didn't he? There's yeah. a concrete corner bit, isn't there? Yeah. On the bench. I'm sure their bench were trying to kick him as he was running down the line as well, like just to stop him. Do you know so you, had that, him, you had the Woking game as well in the FA Cup where like, Go on, the national, national League side. Go on. Dino, Dino Mamria told the guy to do him, remember? Because I lost yeah. my head. And he stuck him in the dugout and he broke his wrist. Yeah, yeah. That, we thought that could be our season over. The chairman wonders to get a plastic mould for him to wear for games. Yeah. We thought that was our season over, and uh, I always remember that because I lost it with him. And and uh, what's his name? Jason Goodliffe rang me the next day and apologised to me, yeah. which is great on his behalf. And he said, "We know what went on last night shouldn't have happened." And I always remember Jason doing that because yeah. what went on that night was wrong, and we absolutely battered them. Yeah. Five three in the end. Yeah. Yeah, we went 1-0 down early on, didn't we? One for the neutral, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Lee scored a hat-trick. Yeah. He, he was frightening. Good. He was frightening. So we go into the playoffs. Haven away. First leg. Yeah. We start I, house on fire. I remember clearly... I remember Dang. clearly that game. I was uh, I was buzzing. It was like the first playoff game being involved in. But I weren't... I, I, I felt so confident... Like personally and as a team, it was just like it was just a proper game. I remember early on, who's the big striker they had up top? Was it was it Mullins? Was it Mullins? Yeah, Shamir Mullins. Yeah, and I remember early on, um, and he just took a bit of a heavy touch, and I smashed him, and I thought like without swearing, like like we this thing we're not we're gonna win this, and we're going through, and we won two 0 and I remember it was an easy game. Did they have? Um, is it Scott Cal? Scott Cal we, should have, we should have been five up in the first fifteen minutes. Yeah, We're two nil up. Leanne goal's gone through all on his own and got pulled back from behind. Referee give a free kick on the eighteen yard box and give the guy a yellow card. It should have been a red card. Red card. We yeah. Absolutely battered them. Yeah. And then see the game out. They had one chance, I think, late on from a free kick. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. We played. We were outstanding. That, day. that performance, yeah. was cool. and that was a really thing. Well. I think that was a massive taking into that into the second leg because everyone says about two nils, not a great result, but it is away from home. And you're coming back home with our home record as well. I thought we're not gonna. The worst it's case in the league, Cal. Home record. Yeah. The worst case is it's gonna go extra time, but it, I didn't. I knew it wasn't even gonna go to that after the first leg. They went one new up, didn't they? Went one new yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. I remember, I remember it being two two. Bit of a wild game, but no, we went one. They went one new. I swear we scored the goal. Quick, we had quick succession. Shakes the end goal. Yeah. I I think that was my best performance of the season as a manager. Yep. Yeah, go on, because I was going to touch time. on that. Yeah. At half time, because I gave you all a. Excuse my French. No. Yeah. Because I asked you 
all of you not to be frightened. Yeah. And I, I said to you, go out there. I've not done it all season. Go out there and show us what you can really do. Get the nerves out of your system. Be brave and go and show everyone what you can do. In the second half, we were outstanding. Yeah. And I thought that, for me, was my best performance of the season where I had to really get into a load, load of it because everyone went out there with a, with, a, with a nervousness, I felt. Yeah. We didn't start the second game. 2 nil for me, was a tough result. They scored early on. And we looked really nervous. Once we yeah. got that out of our systems, we started to grow into the game. I remember Shakes, he started to grow into it and he got on the end of a flick, didn't he? And went around the yeah. key and yeah. then Leeds scored. And yeah. I mean, to be fair, they scored late on, but was, you know, game was, they just threw everything to the, to the wind at that stage. But that first half was a tough first half because we could have thrown away all the good work that we did on the Wednesday at Haven. 100%. I thought you were immensely. And like you said, that Gaffa, I thought that um, they needed it though. It, it was a fear factor, massive fear factor. We played with a massive factor. We go to them white or week, week leading up. Didn't really change away from much, did we? No, we did. We did a normal. We didn't do an extra training session. We did the same, no. exactly same as what we've been doing. We concentrated on what we had to do. Um, and I know speaking with you guys, we we just knew that we we had to keep it tight. Yeah, we opened us up for them. They were good. they were going to be better than us on the day because they had some really good players. He'd... They had an unbelievable side, Gaffer. Looking yeah. back yeah. at it, Danny Mills, Robinson, Sankofa, Deering, Kissup, Deering, Kissup, Deering Kissup, Deering, Mills, Hills yeah. at left back, Even Rosse, yeah, Sankofa, Sergio Torres, midfield. <laughs> yeah. How's he so, listed from there? I like? remember. I remember. I was. No, it's a strange one. Like in, in the big games, like the first first uh, first leg of the, the playoffs in the semis. Oh yeah, which I fractured my wrist like an absolute idiot. I remember it. Monty took a short corner, and someone set it back to him, and he was offside. Like they had no one on the post, and he swung the ball in. And I thought it would be a good idea to try and punch it in the goal. And I remember my wrist just going floppy and thinking like, ah, oh, this hurts. On the coach home and I iced it and I thought, oh, like, it hurts, but I'll be okay. And the next day it just went massive. And I knew something weren't right. And to be fair to Meg, she said, look, you can't even go to the hospital because you have to wait a couple of weeks with a wrist. But like, they're not going to put it. And I said, oh, we're not going to go to the hospital. I knew the the gaffer told her to say that. Yeah. <laughs> well, to be fair, yeah, so it works, gone, it works can't get me, in hospital. But I said, I said, I'm not going to go to the hospital. I said, Cause I'm going to get a cast on, so I'm going to play. Yeah. And I remember trying to strap it. You know, like people strap their wrists with tape. <laughs> So I tried to make it discreet in the second leg. At the end of the game, it looked like my hand had been stung by about five watts. <laughs> and I was, it'd gone purple when I thought, this isn't good. So for the, I remember for the final, I just strapped it up. I thought, look, if someone's going to whack it, they're going to whack it. But I need to support it and that. But I remember, I just remember kind of, I had an excite, like nervous excitement. You know, sometimes there's games where you feel a bit sick with... You can you can worry about games. There's been games I've played where you almost you're almost worrying about the game too much rather than being excited. And I just remember being excited and I just felt ready. I felt so focused for it. And I think as a team, I think the focus was the focus was there. Um, and if I just remember, like you said, it's gonna be a, it was gonna be a tight game. Um, but I'd say that came from the Haven game. Uh, Cal, like the 2 0 away, the performance we put in, and then at home, like you said, Gaffer, you making that, getting the players to relax and, and just play with a freedom second half. And I think that gave, that semi final really gave us the confidence for me in the final. Yeah, it was going to be a tight, tough game, but we knew defensively we would be all right. And we knew we had the firepower with whoever it might be to come up to go and score a goal, um, whether it was a two up top or it was Monty wide or one of the centre halves would chip in with a goal. But I just felt the Haven't game really set us up across two legs because they were a big side at those times. They were a real, real big side. And we went there and we'd done a job on them. I think away from home and then at home, we'd done a job on them. And it proved across that we were better than them uh, across the season and on them two games. I remember White or before the, um, you know, the, the, the clapping. You'd have it on your on your frame. Remember, we got them all together and done the horseshoe. Yeah. Because when they, you know, Gaffer, Gaffer, if there's big games at the club, they all come out. Yeah, they all come out. You get your loyal ones and you get your your, your ones that are rogue. And mm. no matter what, if they turn up, two hundred sound like eight hundred. Eight hundred sound like two thousand. 
Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I think the management of all the week and the game was massive. I remember it was offsides was in in the ninety minutes. It yeah. was a quick free kick at the it's end the of last, the night. It was, it was I remember, two minutes from the end, it was. Yeah, I remember being at 1 0. Um, and it was, yeah, it was just, it was it was a rubbish game, wasn't it? That was one all. What would happen is, you know, when we played them two all, somebody had gone down in the box really quick, easy on them. They got a penalty, remember? Yeah, same again. I remember telling people not to challenge in the box because they will go over. Yeah, Coxie. 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 I felt in the second half we'd gone one nil up, and I felt we were totally in control of the game. Yeah. And we let them back in the game by giving them the penalty, and then they got the quick free kick in the last minute. Actually, Russ has been a great save, and then yeah, he's he far slid from down, yeah, slid down the side of the wall, shot yeah. across goal, and he's palmed it in the middle of the goal. And he's, he's four just, yards out. He's I'm four standing yards there, out. Heads, I'm hand in my head because I knew that's the winner, and he's put yeah. it over. And again, I think Nick almost gave us another lift because yeah. them little things where things happen in the season and in games and you think like this is our day there. Mm. And then Leanne goal, wasn't it? And I uh, did junior score and uh, yeah, Leanne goal you got the winner. Free kick. Yeah. Oh, was it junior? It junior weren't junior the best goal. free kick to be honest. No, it wasn't. No. <laughs> it was terrible. Yeah, it but I remember then, us standing, yeah. we were right behind it, like obviously in the dugout down the, the far end, and it was just he's just bent it in the bottom right corner, keeper's left. And yeah. I thought he should have done better. I don't think the keeper lined up the wall well enough or was behind the wall. But look, it was a euphoria after scoring. It didn't really matter how it went in. And Junior's one was half volley. He was in yeah, the he box. took it early. And he's yeah. Like, just, yeah, he's hit it clean. And it was just, I think after that happened, I just knew, just knew he was going to win. Just knew he was going to win. And there's no better feeling. And I just remember little details. I remember I had the last touch of the game. I remember sort of clearing it and the ref blew his whistle. And um... you lot done your thing. I remember the best picture, I don't care. Me, Maz, Gaffer, and Courts. Yeah. Yeah. Pure, pure, that pure was emotion. Pure relief and emotion. Yeah. We I remember just, before I the game, though, Lou, the board, chairman, no, we to leave. We've achieved the dream to get into the National League. Yeah. Oh, I, I, remember the, oh, yeah. I remember the chairman saying, I don't know if it was to all of us, but I know it was to me, he said, just enjoy it. Because I think me going back as a player at, when I was at Chelmsford and winning the Ryman there, I don't think I enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed it. And I was like, look, and even the Ryman when we won it with Bourne Wood, like, I don't think we en- I enjoyed it. I enjoyed that more. Now this, I just felt, right, I'm going to enjoy this. And look, with what we've been through, the trust, the relationships we built, and what we've just achieved is that's emotion. A picture says a thousand words, don't it? So that, that is, yeah, that goes down to in all our memories. The celebrations in the change room afterwards and then in the bar, the fans, all my, like, all my mates were there. I know all your mates were there. They were Imagine, right. one, of the, one of the strangest things, like my, my mates were there, my brother was there, my old man was there. Um, but my mum wasn't there. She was in, she had this trip book to Borneo. So go and look after like orangutans or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, she, it, she booked it ages. I probably, I probably said book it when we took the leave, thinking like, yeah, don't worry. And uh, I remember coming back to the changing rooms, and uh, I just grabbed my phone and went in the shower, and I rang my mum. Even getting emotional now, just thinking about it. But I rang her and I just said, we've done it. Like, it was the middle of the night. She woke up whispering. She was like, hello. I was like, we've done it. I just remember just dropping to the floor, just crying. I couldn't even speak. I was just crying. Like, like I said, emotion was just coming out. The season we like had finished on such a high, and then best way to win it, Cal. Yeah, by a yeah. country mile. Yeah, oh, you win a league. Listen, win a league is amazing. My lord, it's amazing. If yeah. you can pick a way of going up, it's that in it. Yeah, yeah. Like, just. Yeah, just. So incredible. even in the bar, the bar, I, I just I, remember having the sorest throat ever. Just from singing and singing and singing. And to be fair, our fans were unbelievable. They were in the bar, chairman, officials, everyone. And then we just didn't stop singing. They just kept singing. You know what it was, we though? It was all the, young, uh, Maz, all the youngsters was running around. It was two people sitting on a sofa as content as you like. Yeah. yeah Gaffer and the chim. Yeah. It, it was like you, it was like you was mum and dad. That's what you looked like. You was mum and dad. <laughs> He was, was rogue. Yeah, he, <laughs> he was mum. You was dad, and it was like all the rogue kids are just living, and you've gone. 
We've done it, haven't we? We've achieved something. We've achieved it. I think it just takes so much out of you in the end, though, doesn't it? You don't realise what it actually takes out of you in a season to um, to go through them emotions. But as I've said before, that's easier than sitting in a relegation battle because when you're in a relegation battle, that is tough. Yeah. That, does eat, that does eat away with you emotionally. But I always remember is um, having a few beers that night and not re- not not even thinking I'd had a drink. Yeah. Gone home and about five o'clock in the morning, waking up and thinking. What the hell have we just done? <laughs> and it was like, you know, you got up at five. We were still uh, out at five. Uh, I don't know what I didn't. I didn't go home until Monday afternoon after that. <laughs> I swear we went. We went to St Albans on a Saturday night. I got my brother out with us. He split his head open on the little barrier things, and I was like, and he ended up. He ended up coming back to Ben Martin's. We went there. We my brother go, was there. He was all in the outhouse. Yeah, we didn't go. We didn't go to sleep. And then on the Sunday, I just borrowed a T-shirt from Ben. Um, Rust, I remember Rusty went because he was with Zoe, like early doors. So he was, um, he went and met her for breakfast, and we said that we're gonna get the train at about midday. It was me, Rusty, Nanny, Ben Martin, and Scotty, and we all went up to Brick Lane, wasn't it? Yeah, we went up Brick Lane. We was there all day. Um, I wore my medal. I didn't take my medal off for about three, three weeks. I tried. It's at my mum's house. I was going to wear it today, but it's at my mum's house. <laughs> and uh, we went out, and I just remember I just didn't want it to end. I didn't want to go to sleep. I didn't want it to end. I remember my missus rang me, and I just gave the phone to Ben Martin, and I was like, just speak, just speak to Ben. <laughs> Because uh, we went, we ended up, I don't know where we ended up going out, but again, I stayed at Ben's on the Sunday night. And then Monday, I thought, time I should probably go home. But I went to the hospital first with my wrist, got that <laughs> x ray, said that was fractured. So I got a cast on. And then all I was thinking about was my bay. I was thinking, can I fly? Because I needed an operation on my wrist. And I was thinking, I was going to sack the operation off. But <laughs> it was the day before. And the operation was the day before and I remember asking, funny enough, the surgeon was a Spanish woman and I said, oh look, I'm, I'm flying out tomorrow to Spain, like, can, is it alright to fly? She was like, just no, nothing, just no. And I said, oh, can you just write me a letter then to say it's, it's safe to fly? And she was like, no, you're an idiot, I'm not doing that. So I said, oh, okay. She was like, don't fly, whatever you do. Obviously, did, but... <laughs> but yeah, that was... was uh, that was just brilliant. It was just the best, the best, best time of my career. Probably the Here we best. go. And that was my last parting question. Where does it rank in your, your career moments? And oh. I'll start with Gaffer. Gaffer, go on, you lead. Because you played for Arsenal, remember? 120 yeah, I mean, <laughs> as, a, as a manager, Luke, I have to say, it's, it's the biggest achievement as, as a manager to get into the National League. Um, you know, there's, there's, it was just the combination of, of where we're taking the club from though Luke in terms of the chairman yourself and Mario and myself we've been together for a long time in terms of trying to take the club forward and that was probably the pinnacle of what we what we'd set out I mean obviously you've had some some bigger occasions in terms of the playoff getting into the football league which would have been an outstanding achievement but from my point of view um, it has to it has to be the best in terms of a manager it's difficult to to put it alongside as a footballer because you're an individual I feel in a team whereas as a manager you're a leader of a team and so you know I don't think I you know things that have happened with me in terms of the football in terms of some big decisions big games being involved in big big matches but as a manager that by far is the biggest thing that that I would say is the best thing that's ever happened to me as a manager. Mas? Yeah, I've got to say the same. I've got to totally agree. Just the whole, I think the time, the period, a bit like Cal, in terms of the period of my career there, of the back-to-back promotions, but that one especially, not even playing as much, um, but just being involved in it. I think the relationships, the way we went about it, all the ups and downs where we think we've thrown it away and then we've got a chance and then we get into the playoffs and the way we went and done it. And then you top that off with, the trips away, like Cal alluded to, to Marbella and stuff, and those memories and relationships, like we sent through pictures this morning of, of, of the aftermath, and it was just, just brought a smile to my face. And we all talk, we all chat, we send each other messages. Even in these current periods and times, it's something 
amazing to think about and to chat about. So yeah, it's, it's up it's up there as as the best, I think. Carl, yeah, it was um, it was just special, and I think. After the game, I remember Hurdy crying, and he was probably coming to the end of his career. No, someone, he, he just lost a five or somewhere. That's why Hurdy was. Yeah, probably, yeah, probably. He's probably going to have to go out tonight and spend money, isn't I? But, <laughs> Gaffer. You know, and I, was, I just said to him, I said, like, why, why, like, why are you crying? And he was like, I've never been promoted in my career. So I was like, oh, wow, like, I felt lucky to do it at that time. And then Ben, Ben Martin said, either later that night or the next day, he just start put his arm around me like he does Big Ben and just said, like, I oh, remember this. He said, like, not many people get promoted, but also to do it as captain, it, he said, like, it's extra special. So I think at the time it was something that made me appreciate it even more. Um, and even going forward, how difficult it is at the two years after I left getting in the playoffs with all the shot. And they was just just crap it's crushing it's such a such a bad end to a season and how it can end so so horribly which could have been the case for us luckily it wasn't um the closest i've come in football was probably last year we beat sheffield united away in the third round of the fa cup and that was like unreal and obviously what they've gone on to do last year and this year um but it was just a good day and a great night and then it's over whereas this is like I carried on the celebrations as long as I could. <laughs> you Luke, talking you? The Luke? hairs on the, my yeah, neck. I, I think you've got to go and throw it back at you, though, Luke, because yeah. you, you've, you've done marvellously well in terms of getting the club to the to the playoffs, in terms of getting into the Football League. So that must rank right up there with, with what we've achieved. And it's slightly different for yourself because you're a system manager and now you're a manager. And that's probably, as a leader of it, you probably find... A system that. manager is my best day, so I yeah. can, I can yeah. be really easy there, and that's my yeah. best day. It was but magical. Mate, just Shut before up. you go on, just before I go on, I was there at Sutton when, obviously, in the, in the semi-final, and I wasn't even part of it. I come as a mate, as a supporter, as a friend of the club, and I, I tell you, it was close. It was close from, from there. Sutton, probably, as a manager, that was really close. Day, but as an assistant, and doing it with... Like, I, like Cal, Cal, Scott Thomas, Coxie, Monty, Ben Martin, Josh Hill, You'd, we'd all meet up now and we've got stories to tell. There's not, there's relationship past this. Yeah, like we've got a WhatsApp group and uh, it's called The Core because we were like the core of the team. Yeah. And it was the time, it, it, we actually made it in the, uh, in that summer before the next season, obviously, like, some boys, like, didn't know if they wanted to stay or not or what they wanted to do. So we made that. And obviously, the group's still going, stu- the group's still going strong and we still speak. Like you said, it's, like, memories for a lifetime, really. Like, whenever... The thing, that, the thing that got me was when you went, Ben Martin put his arm around you and he went, remember this. Yeah. And, like, no, Gaffer, there's not many highs in football. There isn't, no. There's a lot of lows. Yeah. There's not yeah, many yeah. highs. So I look at this and go... I remember I had little Logan, just born. I had my missus there, Sean there, my brother there, my old man there. I can remember the day now. And you had the, the bar ran, ran. And it was like, we achieved something as a group. There was no individual better better than the, the all being better good no. in terms of one single person. Leon Goal was the standout guy by 100 miles. Yeah. But we won that as a group. Mm. We achieved that as a, as a unit. And for me, I think... Yeah, I've got it on the wall outside. The shirt, all the pictures. It's up there, Gaffer. It's up there by a hundred, hundred percent. I thought, yeah, what what we achieved, what you achieved as a manager to get us into the national league was outstanding. And I wouldn't want to do it with another group of players, honestly. And, and let's be fair, we, you know, the chairman, he, you got to give him full credit because we did it on a on a on a on a budget that was going to be tight. He had to go and get money and find money and, and spend his money. But we didn't overexpend in terms of some of the money that was being spent in that league at that stage. We did it on a, on a reasonable budget. But we had to be very careful where, where and how we spent our money. Yeah. I think the business that we've done as a group, the relationship, the, the thing for me, Gaffer, is the relationship you still have with him speaks volumes. Yeah. It yeah. speaks volumes. It's, it's past being a manager and a chairman, Gaffer. Yeah. I still yeah. call you Gaffer. 
I yeah, will no. not call you anything else. Yeah. And so do I. <laughs> you're my gaffer. You, honestly, gaffer. What me, you allow me, Maz, and Courts to do as a management team. Yeah. Amazing. For the chairman mm. to give us, me and Maz, the opportunity to assist you. Mm. You don't get out of any other club. It's a special, yeah. unique club, gaffer. Yeah. And that will live long in my memory. Long yeah. in my memory. Yeah. Live long in my memory. There's some poor, poor, poor times in football. All the shot cow. Yeah. Wembley. Yeah, well, that's Honestly, for you. I went to Wembley. I don't care. I want to. I want to. Yeah. I want to erase it out of my brain. Yeah. Sutton for me was the pinnacle. That was the pinnacle. But mm. to get out of a league as playoff champions, and I played for your gaffer in mm. the Kingstonian game. Yeah. Yeah. That was massive. That yeah. was massive. To get out as an assistant to you. I've got a lot of respect for you, Gaffer. Like, mm. utmost, utmost. I think you're the nuts. And like I say, to do it with Maz, who's best mate, to do it with Courts, who I adore, and the personnel in terms of Cow and all that mob. Yeah, I mean, you're I right. I not name you the 10, 12 that would sit in the bar afterwards because yeah. it would be, we'd lose to a fact of the other ones that weren't. But that core, as you went into, Cow, that was the reason we won. Man, and that's why we do it, Luke. Moment. That's why we do it. It's the relationships we build. Like, I speak to you pretty much every other week. Cal, we text. A little bit in Italian, a little bit in English. We're part of the running club now. Gaffar, I speak to you every other week and we'll have a chat about nothing or a chat about a player that you've seen or I haven't seen or can you help me or a bit of advice. I think that's, that's the most special thing. And apart from us doing it as a group and the relationships we've built and to do something as special in, a, in an environment that we love, you can't put it's like MasterCard, you can't it's priceless. You can't put can't put anything on that. Or or like Carlsberg gaffer. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Probably. Or any other beers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. This there is, is yeah. Beer any other beers. <laughs> Boys, can I, I just say <laughs> loved it. Absolutely yeah, loved it. Been, uh, well obviously I, I'm I'm the least experienced out of all of you, but when you think how many players from when you started playing professionally throughout your career as a coach and as managers, how many players you've worked with, it'll be in the thousands. And I think how many that you still could speak to or you still like have the respect for of each other. And like, like you won't forget. Think how many players you play with, you don't even remember their names. Yeah. I think that's just, that's just like you said, man, so we do it for just, just special in it. It's just special. I think Luke said it earlier. You know, you look at the goals. We were the top goal scorers. Our defensive, we were decent. But we didn't use bundles of players that season either. Mm, it's quite nice. a small squad in terms of what we used. The uh, top 11, 12 gaffer had 28 performances, uh, 28 appearances between them. Yeah. That yeah. would allude to the fact we had an 11 that were very much the 11. Yeah. Continuity was kept. And as I say, behind the scenes... We kept that going as well. We kept the, you know, the support for each other going, which is massive. You know what it's like on some Sundays, Luke, when you wake up, you feel like it's the end of the world and you need that conversation to get you to get back and being focused on what you're trying to do and, and, and trying to take the negatives away from the, the, the performance because it really is, you should only be looking at the positives and trying to move forward. But, you know, some performances left us dumbfounded in terms of some of the results, but we kept picking it up, kept picking it up, kept picking it up, and in the end, you get your rewards. And as I say, people bought into what we was trying to to put across to them. And once they, they I remember going to the mango tree with the chairman and, and Mandy and, and all our wives, and we sat around the table, and me and you and Mario got talking, and you both asked me the question. You said to me, do you think we can go up this year at the mango tree? And I said, yes. And they said, why is that? I said, because people have bought into what we're trying to do here. And life's easy for us now. We've just got to keep pushing them in the right direction. And people like Callum and, and all that lot, as long as we pushed them in the right direction and showed them which way to go, and we led them, they had to be led, they would go and get us over the line, and which is what they did in the end. 100%, Gaffer. 100%. It was a pleasure, boys. Yes, thank you. No, it was great. Appreciate Sorry, it. Great, great, it. Yeah, great, great hour and a half. You've just watched episode four of Coach's Corner, where we have joined by the class of 14, 15 with myself, Ian Allenson, the manager, Callum Reynolds, the club captain, Mario Noto, first team player and first team coach. Please follow us on Twitter and Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel.